Look at that, guys. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That is a solid brook trout. I think that's my biggest brookie ever. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I know we've kind of been offline for a little bit there. Uh, work and personal life got kind of busy. Got a lot going on. So I've managed to make it out to one of my favorite streams in Georgia to fish uh, for about two days now. So this will be the second day that I fished it. The first day, I'm probably not going to really post a lot about because, well, I didn't catch anything. Uh, it looked very promising, but there just wasn't any fish there. Today, we're going to be chucking some meat. And uh, hopefully we can dredge up a few of these big, big browns that are in here. So hopefully we get something. I'm going to hike in probably about a mile or two. I won't go nearly as far as I usually do. Water's really clear today, so we'll be throwing a, a more natural colored fly. I kind of wish it rained a little bit before I came in because the water levels have dropped out a good bit, but it shouldn't really change the fishing too much. But there's no one else here today. Last time I was here, I had an awesome day like that. No one else was here, and uh, maybe today will be the same. I don't know. All right, catch you guys on the river. Oh, I missed the hook set, but we're hooked up. Oh my God, it's a nice brook trout. a solid brook trout. I think that's my biggest brookie ever. Look at that, guys. Holy cow. Look how he's barely hooked. Well, uh, I came here looking for a big brown, but I ended up catching probably the biggest brook trout of my life. Look at that fish. That is the biggest brookie I've ever caught. Well, guys, we found them. I definitely messed that up. Holy hell, that's a big fish. I don't even know where he is now. I don't know if you guys could see that, but he came right up off the bottom over here in front of me. And he's big. He is damn big. Let's see if we can make him do it again. I can't believe I messed that up, man. That is the, that's the nicest fish I've ever seen out of here. And he was a 20-incher. 
Easy. All right, guys. Uh, midday update. We have moved four fish so far. One being over 20 inches, uh, which I'm. I completely messed that up. I, I wish. Hopefully, when we look back and see the footage, we can actually see the fish coming to take the fly. But he was pushing 20. Uh, he was a solid wild brown. But I, I don't know what I did. I don't know if I. Uh, you know, my fly was moving down current. My streamer was. So I think when I was trying to pull it in, then I saw him and tried to slow down, and he tried to eat. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I think I panicked and just completely botched that hook set, so whatever. Anyways, I got about another hour, hour and a half of fishing. Um, so I've stopped here. It's a good little stopping point. Uh, I got like four or five more bins to fish up, and uh, then we'll start making our way out. But I'm honestly just glad that I've moved a 20-incher because that tells me that they're here and they're hungry. So uh, we're going to try again. Uh, we're going to hop back out there. My streamer is working fine. The pattern's perfect. So we're going to get back after it after a short little, short little lunch. All right, little update. Uh, the GoPro has died, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm about to pack it out of here because it's late. Uh, it's starting to get late, and I'm kind of running out of time. I've been watching two fish rise in this pocket here. They're probably taking midges, but I'm going to see if they'll take a, an ant or something like that. So uh, I'll put on like a size 16 or 18 ant, black ant. We're going to see if they'll take it. So here we go. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but that was a perfect rise on this little black ant. I was able to pick off this beautiful little brown. It's a perfect fish. So we're going to get them released here and uh, call it a day on that one. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I still sucks that I missed that 20-inch fish. I just I hate it. But at least we know they're there, and we know the general area of where he was at. So I'll definitely be back. Uh, we're going to check out some other creeks next month here, spend a little bit more time. Maybe even do some car camping. We'll see. But uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff here once it comes summertime. I've got a lot of things in the books we got planned out, so... Stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the water.